So this is a World of Warcraft hardcore randomizer. All your abilities and talents are random. Stop. Stop. Bro, I feel like my computer's like running slow today. Maybe it's because I got updates. All right, bear with me just a second, guys. I'm uh, <coughs> finishing setting up the stream. Save. Okay. All right, back to gaming. Yes, back to gaming. Yo, what's up, Leticia? Hope I said that right. When was this game patched? Apparently a couple years ago. This was found by somebody in one of the discords on the Wayback Machine. Uh, so I don't think the patch is complete. I don't know how far it is. I don't know how like how much is translated, but we're just gonna play through it some. Um, so this is the third Game Boy Color game, uh, third Beyblade Game Boy Color game. So first one was uh, Jisadai Battle Beigoma Beyblade. That's the first piece of Beyblade media before the manga, before the anime, before everything. Um, and then there's Fighting Tournament which is the second Game Boy Color game, and this is the third Game Boy Color game. This is the game that Daichi is introduced in. Daichi's actually introduced in this game before he's introduced in the manga. So, uh, technically, uh, Daichi, uh, Daichi's, this Daichi's first appearance. So, it's pretty cool. When did I get this game? I've had it for a couple days. So, um, I've had the patch for a couple days. I think this is the only Game Boy Color game I'm actually missing in physical form. I used to have it, but I have no idea what happened to it. I guess I sold it or something, but I am still missing um, this version. It boxed. Like, I, I want the, the complete box because I have the other two. So, um, but yeah, this is, uh, this, is, this is pretty cool. This is the only Japanese exclusive Game Boy or Beyblade game that has been patched. Did I get it online? I got it in one of the Discord servers. Um, it, well, I got the patch in one of the Discord servers. You have to patch the game. Uh, it doesn't come pre-patched. So, uh, but yeah, this is pretty cool. So I think Fighting Tournament and this game both use like the same engine. I think they're both, I think they're all produced by Hudson. Yeah, they are. Uh, they're all produced by Hudson, but the first game is like completely different. So. Um, I would like to see if I could get in touch with the guy who is working on this and see if he's still working on it or see if he has plans to continue working on it, but um, yeah, so I'm going to share this stream really quick in the Discord so people know we're streaming and then uh, we will start the game. So I'm, I'm pretty hyped for this. I've played some of this before. Um, back when I had the cartridge, uh, I, I didn't get particularly far in it. I didn't spend a lot of time with it. So, um, this game is more like a simulator in terms of the battle system, but, uh, it's, I think it'll be pretty interesting. More traditional RPG than like the first Game Boy Color game, which is more like action RPG. You actually have control of the Beyblade. Um, all right, let's post this at everyone.
up Streamlabs, pull up the game. Scores are tied at one win each. Please tell me you got a link to this patch. Uh, I don't have a link to it. Um, it was it was posted in the, one of the discords. So um, if you join my discord after the stream, I can uh, I can make the patch available though if you guys want it. All right, scores are tied at one win each. You're good, Kai, but you won't win. <laughs> Tyson's Dragoon or Kai's Dronzer. Let the third battle begin. So this is Game Boy Color, guys. So who made the patch? It, it was on the Wayback Machine. I, I don't remember the guy's name off the top of my head or the website that it was listed under or whatever. Um... My bad, I didn't move that. It was the clipping. Um, great dodge. No, this is not the OG Game Boy Color game. This is the third Game Boy Color game. I'm not sure why the guy decided to start working on this one instead of the first one or even the second one, but whatever. Tyson is the winner. Kai takes second. What a spectacular final battle! Yahoo! <laughs> I actually like that that pixel art of Tyson. That's pretty good. Whoa, that was awesome! I want to be just as strong too. So, a little backstory: people in Japan actually really like Daichi. Daichi is a fairly popular character, um, and the way he's handled in Japan is a little different than. Uh, America, I would say he's a little less obnoxious, especially in the manga and uh, in the video games. He's like, I don't know, not quite as overbearing. Third of the Game Boy Color games and first to be based off the anime. First to be ba it's all based off the manga. Because Daichi got introduced in the manga way earlier than in the anime. I'll just go to Tyson's house. If we bay battle, I'll get stronger. I wonder if he remembers me. Whatever, if I go, I'm sure he will. I just hate sitting around. I think I'll go to Tyson's place now. Wait, so it was, well, hold up. Was Daichi introduced in the second game? Why would Tyson remember him? They haven't met before this. English patch, yeah, bro. Okay, they do know him. What? This has the anime designs before the OG anime's release. Odd. This came out before the anime. Or this, like, uh, th I'm pretty sure, well, it did, I don't think it came out before the anime, but it came out, this predates, like, this is based off the manga. So the art reflects the manga, which the first season did too. So... I thought I'd come and ask Tyson to battle with me. Please update us on if Jisadai gets his treatment. The, the site that this is listed on is defunct. Somebody found it on the Wayback Machine. But if I could figure out who was patching it and get in touch with them, I'll definitely try to. This is not a complete patch, though. I don't know how far the guy patched it. Where can you find it? It's on the Wayback Machine. But if you guys join my Discord, I'll make it available after this stream. Daichi looking sus? No, he looks fine. This is Game Boy Color, guys. You gotta remember, I have this blown up. It's like the, the normal resolution is like this big. It's like two inches. Your mom's away oh, hold up wait a second hold up 
Your mom's sister's son is here to play? What? Is the- hold up. Uses season one anime style? Well, season one anime style, like, mimics, uh, Takao's art style. Or it's supposed to. Hold up. Daichi in the video games is Tyson's mom's sister's son. Yeah, Tyson is confused too. When was this released? Uh, I have the strategy guide right here. Uh, 2000, I think. Yeah, I've got I've got the entire Japanese strategy guide here. Funniest way to say cousin, <laughs> yeah. Sprites for Tyson for Kai and Tyson definitely look more like the anime designs than the manga. The eyes do, yeah, I think. But like the the head shape and everything looks like the manga. Really like the 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 coloring is what differentiates it more or less, I think. Like, I think it looks pretty pretty close. See, there's a the, there's, there's the little picture of Tyson. It's really the eyes. It looks like 90s? I mean, Game Boy Color... I mean, it could have been, like, 99, 2000. Look... The Game Boy, like, wasn't really, like, pushing out RPGs until the late 90s. That's not that far... That's not that far ahead. Game Boy Color is... came out in what? When did the Game Boy Color come out? 99? 2000? So it's, like, on par with when it would have come out. How Daichi got introduced in the manga? I'd honestly have to pull it out. I'm pretty sure it's similar to the... How they, well, it's not. It's not similar to how they introduced him, and his plot line's completely different in the manga. Your cousin, okay. Okay. So Daichi and Tyson are cousins in the video game. I didn't know that. What's up, Ace of Base? His own story? Yeah, he had his own story before he joined the main cast. Really, like, he's got his, like, before he ends up meeting up with the Blade Breakers and, like, fighting Tyson and everything, he's got his own arc going on where he fights, like, the dude with Guardian Trigger and Spike Lizard, and he goes off and trains and, like, does all this stuff. If it was 2000, I expect it to be kind of generated type of design. I, Tommy had, did you, I'm guessing you didn't grow up with the Game Boy Color because like most games don't, on the Game Boy Color don't look any better than this. I mean, you gotta think of what came out, of, like Pokemon Silver, uh, <laughs> like, uh, what, Dragon Quest Monsters, like, they all look like this. Arguably probably worse because most most Game Boy Color games don't have like full-size or large portraits like this Manga Daichi seems hella based he yeah, well definitely comparatively to like some of the more recent Beyblade characters <laughs> So the OG came out in 99 this came out in 2000 so the third game would have come out in 2001. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Daichi likes Beyblade 2. Introduced finally the anime. Mid 2001? Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, that's not that late into the life of the Game Boy Color, I don't feel like. strong like you please <laughs> um funny enough i think this game i don't think this 
designs for strategy game had been finalized by this point, so like, I'm not, I actually don't know what they give him. Which I've taught myself with. Any hopes for the game storyline to be good? I, I'm just, we're just going with it. I don't know. Came out at basically the same time as GBA launches in Japan. Yeah, well, I'm probably mixing timelines in terms of like the Western release of the Game Boy Color. When did the Game Boy Color come out in the US? That's probably throwing me off. Came out after the GBA. Well, to be fair, this game does use the same, um, like the same battle system and everything as the second game fighting tournament. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is just like. You could even probably call this an expansion, because it's like literally like the same same battle system and everything. in English? I use a piece of software to patch the ROM. I'll have the patch in my Discord after the stream. Came to Tyson's to get better at Beyblade. Bro, I cannot read kanji. I share it on Discord. <coughs> yes, I will provide it on Discord. Uh, I do absolutely love Plastic Gen from what I've got so far. It's super fun. Plastic Gen's great. What's up, Ray? Uh, this is not just a die. No, this is the third Game Boy Color game. In the mountains? Nah, not really. I'm the only kid that lives there. I've been training all by myself. That's why I won't lose to you guys. <laughs> Studying Beyblade is my destiny. Will you show me your bay for a second? Just an ordinary bay. I also noticed that recurl is so much better and actually lets me make strategy easier, like flipping weight rings to increase stamina and defense respectively. Yeah, customization for Plastic Gen is great. Why not translate all of them? I would consider you saying if you did that. I'm, I didn't translate this. I, I did not do this patch. This was found on the Wayback Machine from a website from like two years ago that is now defunct.
can't get left behind. I got some bad news for them guys, those guys. Okay. So yeah, um, checking on the Sakar website yesterday. Nice. So, I did talk to a guy who does like patchwork um, for some Game Boy games. But the issue is that Hudson did like really weird compression, um, and so that has to they have to f figure out how to reverse engineer that compression. Um, before they can even start on patching. So, whoever started on this, like I said, the second and third game use the same system, so it's probably the same, same compression and everything. I don't know about the first game, but I would like to try to f find the guy that, that worked on this. Okay. Uh, I'm going to the park. What did I do to you? I, I do need to get back to the um, the Jisadai Battle Bagelman game for sure. Hobby shop. System to exchange parts with friends. Trade in the parts box. Attack rings can only be traded for attack rings, blade bases for blade bases. Only trade parts of the same kind. Okay. Battle? QFJ? Okay, so some of the text there is a little, little broken. Level one is a spark. Sparking attack ring? Power jump? So definitely some broken text, but it's fine since uh, all of this is automated anyway. Alright, I lost the first one. Probably gonna take uh, take a little while for me to figure out the launch the launch thing. Can't we find the full text and translate it somehow? No. So unfortunately, like Game Boy games aren't coded to where it's like you can just find completed lines of text. Typically, uh, it's usually a little harder than that. You kind of gotta piece it together. said okay uh let's not fight that guy let's go to the park that's where we're supposed to be going anyway park <laughs> let's baby battle but first i better go to the toilet before i wet myself <laughs> uh, what I watched the solar eclipse. I, I like peeked outside at it and then just went back and I was in the middle of making Beyblade videos. Priorities, you know? All right. Okay, so that's my bit chip. And that's my opponent's bit chip. So I can do attack mode, balance mode, defense mode, and special mode. No specials. 
and run free for all. I don't know. I have a strategy guide. There's like some codes in here. Left, right, A. How does that? Okay, I'm gonna have to go through that later. Where's the one and only Kai? Probably got a little while. Oh, I missed again. Do you have a bit piece or is it blank? I am not sure. I haven't looked at my, the menu or anything yet. Okay. First round, I lost. I just gotta, I gotta hit that thing when I jump. Oh, come on. <laughs> So all the, all the garbled text at the bottom is just like random crap that Blader DJ says, so. Yo, what's up, Lucario? The kid's bit piece? Zero experience was given. Not bad for your first battle. This looks like fun, why don't you let me play? Is this Carlos? Who is that? I just need a good launch. So I have not won yet. Oh wait, hold up. He's level 10. Oh, is that mine? I the one that's level one? No, let's go defense mode. Oh, I hit it. Let's go. Just do a rush shoot. <laughs> Yo, what is that guy doing? He's like knocking me all over the stadium. I don't think I can win this one. He's like level 10. What's up, filling up? How'd you do the English patch? It was, somebody in one of the discords found it on a website on the Wayback Machine. Um, if you want it, I'm gonna post it in my discord after this stream. satisfied until I smash my opposer's Beyblade. Oh, here comes Tyson. It's gonna... This this music is kind of cool for Game Boy Color. So 
some people just need more training. How do you patch the ROM file? You need to use a piece of software to do it. Waiter DJ showing up like Mr. Referee <laughs> from Metabots, 100%. be a complete ROM that is translated already. Uh, all I got was the patch file, so I had to I had to patch the ROM. The bit chip. The bit is evolving. Oh yeah, there's evolving uh, bit beats in this. That's where all the the like kid versions of the. Uh, Kid versions of, of the Beyblades come from. So yeah, we got Kid Dragoon now. That's cool. Tyson and Daichi weren't this nice to each, <laughs> to each other? Well, not in G-Rev. I also don't think they were cousins in the in the anime either. <laughs> Pokemon cheap coping alert? What? Pokemon just copied uh, Dragon Quest Monsters, so you can, you can keep going back. Everybody copied everybody. Daichi to the BBA. Fifth Super Blader? I want to be a Super Blader. Not sure if he's at that level just yet. I'm definitely not. I haven't I haven't won a single battle. Bailey logic has nothing to do with Pokemon. Yeah, true. to this shop and try to f beat this person. That's not copied from Pokemon either. Evolving has existed before Pokemon. Dragon Quest Monsters had Evolving. And that came out before Pokemon did. Alright. Come on, Daichi. Alright, we hit it. Mostly Japanese names other than that. I don't know how familiar the guy was with the franchise, so... If they weren't characters he was super familiar with, it would make sense that he would just... translate them literally. Had evolution. 
Revolutions 2 and 89 onward? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Get that jump launch. English patched? Yeah, this is the third game. This was found a few days ago. It's not a complete patch, though. I don't know how much of it is patched. Obviously, there's some garbled text down below, but so far, all of this, the story stuff that we've encountered has been patched, so. Oop, that's not good. Final round. Let's go. Partial patch and someone made a few years ago, far from complete, yeah. I mean, if, if most of the story is complete, then, like, that's fine. And it looks like most of the, most of the menus, it seems like, are, are also patched, too. Gonna need to find this. I'll be posting it in the Discord after the stream, if anybody wants it. Ring out. Experience, 25. Next level, 75. That's exactly what she said. <laughs> okay, um... Status? Alright, I got the easy shooter. One win, three losses. Is this... Okay, I save here too. Success. Beyblade. Settings? Let's see what the settings are. Uh, okay. So our attack is 10. SLP, what is that? What is SLP? Speed is 9. Guard is 9. What is SLP? Attack ring, sparking, weight disc, normal, blade base, normal. Oh, this is a sparking at weight uh, attack ring. I just did a video on this, like, last week or something. And the bays made are, are made out of copper? It's orange. It's an orange Beyblade. Hold up. I have it right here. Yeah, it took me a minute. Oh, uh, attack? Okay, that's all I have. Weight disc. Blade base. Okay, so. Tune up? Nothing to use. Okay, parts box. Shooter. Um, how do I get new parts? If I think about it, it's like this. Huh? Nothing? I'm talking to myself? What? Okay. Crosswing attacker AR first debuting on Frostic Drums because it's not no this is not Frostic Drums this is this is the sparking sparking attacker I did a video on this all right um is there anywhere else that we can go to find stuff I would like to find uh, some parts. Ooh, there we go. Tri cutter wing. A blade. Uh, tune up. Attack. Okay. So I guess that's upgrading. Settings. Attack ring. Okay, so. 
So this will increase my attack to 15, but it will lower my guard to 6. That looks cool, though. That's the, uh, the attack ring from... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, the, the bearing thing. Uh, bearing stinger. Okay, so... I don't know if that's a good decision or not, but let's try it. Okay, leave. Can I go down here? Is there anything down here? Oh, here's a kid. Okay, let's uh, battle. I have a feeling this game's gonna be kinda grindy. Bit Beast Waifu? I don't have a bit beast waifu. Japanese ROMs use sleep for that stat. Not sure what it is. I don't know what sleep is either. Wait. Why won't he battle me? What about this guy? Will you battle me? Oh, here we go. Looks different in the game to a strange degree. Well, to be fair, it is Game Boy Color, so. All right. We have more attack. So let's go for attack mode. Oh, it changes the color, that's cool. What's your advice for plastic gen collection? Uh, buy a couple lots. Honestly. If, if, if you're, yeah, don't, yeah, don't buy them. I would buy a couple lots, cause you can get like, spend a hundred bucks or 200 bucks and get like a lot of stuff. And you'll have, you know, I don't know, some bulk at least. And then like the individual stuff that you want to get later on, you can sort of, get piece by piece, I would say, but starting out, I would get a lot. That way you get some launchers and some rip cords and stuff. And... But plastic gen prices right now are like pretty high. Um, even on like buy, they're like, why is everybody calling me, texting me, knocking on my door? Breath. I'm trying to stream. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, even buy prices are like higher than they have been in the last like six months. Like, I was on, I've been on buy for the last week, like looking at stuff, and it's like eBay prices, basically, which is crazy. Like you can still find some cheap stuff for sure, but on average, like prices have just gone up like crazy. All right, let's try to fight him again. collecting every single release but all the standard that shouldn't be that hard I'm still missing stuff every gen okay yeah it might be kind of hard um, I'm actually still missing stuff like I'm missing some early gen stuff some late gen stuff there's some stuff that gets very expensive for plastic gen um, especially HMS and like the, some of the random booster stuff for Plastic Gen, Galleon 2, Trigator, Trigal 2, and then some of the early gen stuff like Bound Attack or Bound Defensor is kind of like not, kind of uncommon. And then you got the engine gears, but the HMS is going to kill you for sure. 
Good luck, bro. No! Wear some shoes, dude. New in-box Dragoon GT would be insane. Yeah, that would be pretty sick. I'd love a new in-box uh, Frostic Dronzer. This is one of my favorites. Or Grip Attacker. Hit him out. Yes! Dronzer MS. Dronzer MS is like not anywhere close to like the most expensive of the HMS either. Like, some of the HMS is like a thousand bucks. 20k on Beyblades? Yeah, bro. Four to five hundred? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, by the time you get to some of it, too, it, it may be even more expensive. <laughs> Ray Tome something. I think I got a part, maybe? Did I get a part? Sleep is stamina. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, Beyblade settings. What did I get? I think I got a part. Did I not get a part? Parts box? Um. Oh, okay. Weight to speed plus high S rate? The f freak does that mean? Light guilt? What is that? Able SR. Success rate? I'm gonna hold on to that. Worried about shipping prices for buying? I mean, it depends. If you're not buying stadiums, it won't be that bad. Like, obviously you don't want to buy singular Beyblades up and try to ship them from buy. If you're gonna buy from buy, you need to buy like bulk. You need to buy like several items, really. I think to make it worth it. Lots on eBay seem pretty hard to find. Lots on Buy right now are pretty hard to find. And the lots that are listed that I've seen in the past week or so have been expensive too. Like I I've seen a couple smaller lots that are like reasonable, but like I said, prices for plastic gen have gone up pretty substantially over the last couple months. Um, I don't think it's just plastic gen either. I think metal fight on buy, like for whatever reason, buy prices are starting to look like eBay prices. I need to go to that BBA place, but I kind of want to like explore a little bit. School. Uh, battle. Let's battle this girl. Yo, what's up, you song one? Gotta head out, love the channel and content. When I get into content creation, Beyblade is on the list, so be on the lookout. Bet. Have a good night, man. Thanks for popping in. Alright, attack mode, of course. I like to how the backgrounds change for, like, depending on where you're at. That's pretty cool. Like, we're in a school, so, like, the background's a school. Like, they didn't have to add that. That's pretty cool. Uh oh. Can Daichi recover? Probably not. Can 
buying every lot I see so I can manipulate the market. Well, if you're buying the lots that are on right now, you're overpaying. <laughs> But it's one of those things where like the market just fluctuates. So like if prices are high now for plastic gen, I would just wait a little while. They'll probably go back down. Cause this is like this sort of thing happened before certain keywords. I just search Beyblade and start scrolling. Like I'll scroll, I'll go through pages for like an hour. I'm not even joking. Just got beat by a kid. Let's fight her again. Used to check multiple times a day. Yeah, same. Thinking of starting with burst. Yeah, if I, honestly, if you're gonna start with one, burst might be the smartest one to do just because it's so cheap right now because nobody wants it. So like there's a lot of like rare stuff and uncommon stuff, bulk stuff that you can get for burst. Pretty, pretty cheap right now. If anybody was gonna, also too, if anybody was gonna like invest in Beyblade at the moment, Burst is probably a smart thing to start buying. Cause in a couple years, two, two years or something, three years, when the nostalgia hits all the Burst kids, they're gonna come back to the series and start collecting again. And um, prices will spike again pretty hard. First time you've been in the streams, we're playing the um, we're playing the third Game Boy Color game, which somebody found an English patch for. Either I focus on cheaper bursts and I let Plastic Gen and Men MFB get more expensive, or I knock the expensive stuff out of the way. Here's the thing, though, with Plastic Gen and Metal Fight, it like there's waves. Like people get interested for a little while and buy stuff and then interest will die out and it'll get cheaper again. Like BB10s were like $200 a year ago and now they're not. Now they're like 40, 50 bucks. Same thing too, like the more resellers there are, the typically the cheaper it gets too because the market gets flooded with resellers. Um, Plastic Gen just happens to be in one of those spots where like people are getting into it and buying stuff or it's it could be too that a lot of it's not actually selling and Japanese sellers are just spiking the prices because X is new and they're thinking people are gonna get back into it I don't really know but prices always fluctuate I would not overpay for plastic gen I would like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna overpay or pay current prices because I know they'll go back down I've seen this happen like for the last 15 years. Didn't know English patches existed for the old Beyblade games? Well, I didn't either until like three days ago. Yeah, that's what everybody's doing. Everybody's selling off the burst stuff. That's why it's so cheap right now. Do I think Beyblade as a brand toy has longevity in the far future? Yeah, I do. Did I get a part from that? I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Have I leveled up yet? does not show me Beyblade settings. Does it show me the level? Yeah, level one. 
For plastic, expect to pin 80 plus for Dragon GT, Johnny GT, and Zeus. Yeah, that's standard though. It's been like that for like years. And they, like, they, those have not gotten more expensive. It's just people have been increasing the price of like cheaper stuff. So, like, I've been on buy, I've seen Wolborg for like $40 or Metal Dronzer for like. 30 40 dollars i'm like that's insane nobody's gonna buy that nobody cares about metal Dronzer. so you just you just don't buy it in the market it'll go back down but if people start buying them at those prices then they'll keep listing them at those prices so don't don't get fomo and just start buying everything because you think prices will go up I'll, uh, it's bad idea. Bad idea. Ooh, Mitch. What do you mean, no way? Are you scared? Let's fight this girl again. Yeah, most stuff, I mean, like I said, early stuff can get expensive and late stuff can get expensive. But, like, all the S series stuff, all the F series stuff. Most of the V-Series stuff and Magna Core stuff is all cheap. Uh, it's just the really early stuff and the engine gear and late random boosters that are expensive. They'll probably do a World Championship for X. stuff that's expensive yeah i mean like grip attacker can be kind of expensive frostic dronzer can be kind of expensive um that's like some of the earlier stuff that's expensive and then like bound attacker bound defensor can be kind of expensive unless you just like get it in a lot kid dragon looks so menacing yeah yeah mostly cheap mostly everything else is cheap too bad. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's any worse than any of the other gens, to be honest. I mean, there's cheaper and expensive stuff in, in both gens, really. I mean, look at Cobalt Drake. Or uh, even, like, the random booster prizes for X. expensive I I think average wise it probably is more people want more people want metal fight so like and I would say like there's more stuff that is desirable I guess like cuz like plastic gen there's a lot of stuff that people don't care to have but like metal fight like you know, even if it's bad, people will want it. Like, people want Leon. Even though it sucks. Every time there could be a win or loss. I'm sure there's, like, you can tell from the animation or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's just garbled stuff. There's, there's some missing text for the, uh for the patch. It's not a complete patch. A good amount of, yeah, I mean, pretty much all the 4D stuff's expensive. All of the zero G stuff, well, a, ch a good chunk of the zero G stuff's expensive. Yeah, it just depends, really. For the cheaper stuff, yeah, yeah. All right, I guess let's go to the BBA and see what's going on. I still haven't leveled up, I don't think. Can I search any of this stuff? Is there any, any parts hidden anywhere? I can 
fight her. They become rare items. Well, the thing with like franchises like this is people will get into it even if they didn't grow up with it. There's plenty of people that have gotten into Metal Fight or Plastic Gen that didn't grow up with it. Um, and so like that sort of, you know, adds more people into the, the collector's mix or whatever. Tried to collect bursts, just wasn't for me. I like the early burst stuff. Like, I'll, I would buy more, like, God Series stuff. I think I have pretty much all of the single layers and dual layers. Some of them are, like, I have complete. Like, I have every recolor of single and dual layer Spriggan, I'm pretty sure. Uh-oh. Lost. I need to get a stronger launcher or something. My launch strength is like not that high. I think I need some more liquid death, guys. bag of like 60 that I don't know what they are. What would you do on 1 million subs? I don't know. I can't even fathom that. Wait, did I win? I lost, didn't I? No, we can't have that. Yeah, I really, I mean, I really like the early burst stuff. I mean, I do have most plastic gen stuff. There's not that much that I'm missing, but the stuff I am missing is annoying. Like, I don't have Trigator, I don't have Trigal 2, um, I'm still missing Drasil G, Gigar, Gigars, Gigar, Gigars, missing that one. Um, the clear ones? Clear ones what? Lost again, bro. I need to get, bro. I need more. Yo, look at that. But they suck, right? No, the the early stuff I, is f fine. Some of it's better than others. Like some of the early stuff is has better teeth than others. But like the dash drivers kind of fix a lot of that. Like, for Burst Classic, you're only using single and dual layers anyway. Along, you can use, like, the later drivers and stuff. Swallowed a Dragoon S rubber tip one time. It tasted good. You need to try it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. Yo, bro, you really gotta tap that thing. Knock him out, bro. No, don't, no! Bro, why is this girl so hard? Oh, she's level 10. Yo, I'm like level two. Hold on. What are you? What does escape do if it doesn't get you out of the battle? <laughs> Pressing up and right after launching. Okay. 
I don't know. There's like I've got the strategy guide here. It's got something about like inputs or whatever, but I don't know when exactly you're supposed to enter it. I think after you, like when he's in the air. Let's see. Oh crap, okay. How's the game? Yeah, it's fine. It's a typical Game Boy Color game. Okay, lady, you and your level 10. Leave. All right. Chairman's office? Hey, there's Ray. Make it quick. will be my opponent. Nice-o to meet you. Daichi Aimu Max. What? Konnichiwa. to test Daichi's skills. Skill isn't at everyone else's levels yet. The purpose of today is to battle with Daichi and test his skills. For this exercise, we will be having rolling battles. You must battle and beat every single blader in a row. Bro, I can't even beat the little girl down the hallway. Kenny's playing too? <laughs> Building up that lost streak, yeah, dude. English for Max, yeah. Kyle will be fourth, Tyson's last. All right, I'm gonna save. E-Blade. Let me make sure I don't have anything that I can... Yeah, I don't have anything. Okay. Uh... Wait, how do I... Time to fight Kenny. He's level three. Bro, how much grinding do they expect you to do outside of the story? I feel like I did a decent amount of battles. And...
Don't go out of the state. Oh, let's go. We, we duped him. Maybe this will be an easy way to, like, get some levels in. Look at a video game, that'd be dope. If I lose to Kenny, bro, it's time to retire. No, I missed it. Uh, just knock him out. Knock him out real quick. Knock him out. Probably a switch one, yeah. Hun. Okay, let's try that again. Wait, wasn't he level three a second ago? Game sucks, just accept the truth. I mean, it depends on what you find interesting. I have, pr my bar is pretty low for Game Boy Color games. KO'd, bro. I just went straight out. Alright, let's try... One more time. I adore GBA games. I really like the GBA. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in the GBA. Pinfon is just replacing Kana with the romanizations of his Kana. Big brain. Dai Begoma. It's way better than Daichi Jumping Simulator. I mean, they're two very different games. I do really like the, the first game, though. Makusu. Makusu. Come on, Daichi. You can beat Kenny. Okay, Daichi. You can't beat Kenny. Mm. Hit him out. Hit him out. God. These battles are stressful because I don't have any input, so it's like... on a journey now bro uh, ray no that man's gonna be broke he's gonna be on the side of the street with a sign with a can need change for Beyblades. stay strong bird would be proud 
pricing right now as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just like, I mean, I, I'd keep an eye out for plastic gen for sure, but like, I wouldn't prioritize it at the moment. I'd go for like burst or something, cause it's like, it's cheaper. Pretty cool poster, nice. Daichi, come on. Uh, for the first Beyblade game? Send me a send me a screenshot of it. It's a poster of the first Game Boy Color game. I want to see. New in box burst. Yeah, I have like new in box Fafnir, Drain Fafnir. People are definitely gonna want that one. Come on, Daichi. Oh yeah, 100%. Burst will definitely uh, go up in price. I think Burst actually, like, like a few years from now, I think Burst may end up being the most expensive, just because, especially new unbox stuff, because of the teeth. Gotta be Kenny, bro. Sent the picture, but don't knock me out, Kenny. You don't even have a bit piece, bro. Hey, this is what B two size. I don't know how big that is. How big's B2? How big's B2? It's just like the cover of the first Game Boy Color game, but it's a little mini poster. Uh, B2. Not quite for investing purposes. You end up thinking about it though. The more you end up buying stuff, because you're just like, am I wasting money or is 20 by 29? That's not that bad. Are you gonna buy it, Elena? bucks oh hell no <laughs> no 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 I'm good bro I'm not paying $40 for that that's insane come on Kenny bro you're hurting my soul right now hey impulse buying I have to have a frame too yeah I don't, it, I don't think it's worth 40. It's like, I mean, it's rare, sure. But like, you could probably scan the thing in at like, you know, 300 DPI and just print one. Buy it before Illinook? I'm not, you know, no, no. I'm not, I'm not paying for that. All the posters, the Beyblade posters that I have, um, like I got in lots and stuff. I didn't like go out of my way to buy these. They came with like issues of Koro Koro or like in lots of stuff. I like the posters, but I'm not like, I'm not paying $40 for a poster and then shipping it to, to America. No. <laughs> Is 
Essentially, you pay shipping twice on auction. Yeah, yeah, because you have to pay to have it shipped to the warehouse, then you have to pay to have it shipped to you. And then you've got the buy fee, too, which is not that much. It's like, a, what, a couple hundred yen or something? 300 yen? Still, though. Yo, did I win? Did I just win? Yay, I'm level three. Let's go. Get wrecked, Kenny, you scrub. First try. First try like a boss, bro. Sheesh. I'm so good. Okay, my... Kahai bay batro. Daichi bat... It's so broken. Can... Can... Canon? What is that? What is that character by the... K-A what? Bro, my brain cannot, like... Parse that together. Yo, look at Thrasil! Level 7! I did no way I beat this. I'm level 3, bro. Attack mode. Let's Beyblade battle, come on, Daishi. Oh. No, no, no. Get out of here, Max, with your dumb turtle. Okay. Pretty good pixel art of your seal. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I cannot figure out the launching thing. Like, I don't know if tapping faster helps that much. I need new parts, too. Like, I've only found really, like, one attack ring so far. No! About to eat a pizza, bro. That sounds good. Go ahead and send me one. Send me a pizza, bro. Haven't had a pizza in like three or four years. I haven't had pizza in a, a little while. It hasn't been three or four years, though. I like pizza too much to go that long. Um, let's do... Let's do balance mode? Let's see what happens? Defense mode probably isn't going to do anything, because he's, like, defense-based, right? But defense beats attack, so I don't know. I don't know what the logic is like in this game. Didn't feel very balanced. Okay, I missed it. That's good. It's good. It's good for me. I will say this is kind of like an easy game to play while you stream because like you don't really have to input anything after you launch. You just kind of watch, read chat. It's kind of nice. Except when you get swept by Max.
So I'm gonna have to go in there and do that again. That's it's kinda sucky. Blader room? What's Blader room? Attack at 17, sleep 25, speed 10, guard 6, 12 and 9. Training arc? Yeah, for sure. I can't battle those guys. I really... I should probably save, actually. I need more parts. I need to read this strategy guide some tonight and see like if there's any hidden parts. Practice tournament hall? Shoot name. just join how do I rank this game out of 10 I don't know I don't know I'll have to um, I think I need to get further into it before I can really rank it Begging you to play just to die Battle Beagle. I've been meaning to. I promise I've been meaning to. I, I didn't have a monitor until like last month. So now that I have a monitor, I can continue it. I have been meaning to. I just haven't gotten around to it. Does this work like Yu-Gi-Oh! Game Logic where you win a battle, you get a new part? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Like, I've, I think I've only found, like, one new part and then, like, an upgrade piece or whatever, so. But I haven't won a whole lot of battles yet, so. Oops. I do wish you could skip the battle, though, if you miss launch. Like, you can't, like, just button through it. sucks I think the game looks pretty good for a Game Boy Color game 10 XP oh. uh, okay let's leave there practice tournament locker room Umi. I just need new parts, bro. What is all this? I'm just trying to check all the rooms in hopes that I find uh, new parts. Nobody's here. seen that guy before. He's in the first episode. Uh, when Tyson is fighting, or when Tyson first shows up, he gets drugged to the park and with those two kids, and he's like, oh, I gotta go, I gotta battle with Carlos. I'm like, Carlos, that guy's the best. Or not Carlos, uh, Andrew.
dome. Oh, I guess I guess it can't be there right now. If you check the park a few times, there's two or three parts you can get randomly. Oh, nice. Are you reading a guide or something? Ooh. Let's go eight wide. Settings. Let's see if eight wide is better than what I've got currently. honest uh, let's try it though let's put that on there so my tech 17 I don't understand how speed and sleep work is because if sleep is like out spinning then what is speed Hobby chatting stream soon. I missed those. I should do one of those soon. Probably this weekend. More guard, less speed. I'm sure like once I get through this like first part we'll probably take this airport go to like America or China or something I think that's the one I got, right? No, I got tri cutter, cross spike. Is that the? Uh... Is that supposed to be like um, the frosty drums are attacking? Cross spike. Jiri in the park. If they're not here, leave and re-enter. Okay, I heard that. Hey, let's go. What the? F Yo, what? If you hit the directional pad, it kills your s meter. Why? Why does it do that? Why did it kill my meter? Like it drains it. Okay, I'm not doing that again. There's probably inputs that I should be doing that I'm not. I imagine for part two of this, this stream or whatever, maybe I'll be a little more prepared. Oh, ooh, I'll read through some of the uh, strategy guy. Nice, I won. Just give me 
45 experience, that's not bad. Okay, let's go back to the park. I want that part. I talked to Hugh, talk to Hijiri. Uh, I don't know which ones. <laughs> I guess it's not those. That's just what the blog says. Two attack. Oh, that's the uh, huh, the Drasil attack ring. That's hilarious. Uh, speed. My attack is pretty dang high. Let's find out. It, I, depending on the setups other people are using, I should probably be picking different, like, different modes too. If they got attack and defense and all that stuff, but I don't. I don't really know how the mechanics work, so I need to need to do some research. Hit him out. Okay. I missed it. Look how high it was. Crap. No. Give me a lucky KO or something. Okay. Or to do that. That's an option as well. Well, I've played this for like an hour and 40 minutes and I feel like I haven't made much progress. Probably because I don't know what I'm doing. But, um, yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm gonna call it there for this stream. And um, I saved it, so next stream where we, 
where we pick this up, we'll just we'll continue right where we left off. Um, and yeah, for for those of you who wanted to see the first Game Boy Color game, I'll continue that Let's Play. Hopefully, I can get another part of that out soon. I have been meaning to do that. I just haven't. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Need to read the strategy guide? Yeah, I got it right here. I just, I almost, like, sat down and read some of this before I started, but I didn't. I know there's a decent bit in this game. Like, you got, like, a whole American arc and Chinese arc, and there's, I, this is a fairly, how many pages is this? Like, 100 pages. This is a decent little, little strategy guide thing.